Hello guys, my Julio back again with another new video and today I gonna share a tool for which I have also been looking for so long because this does a particular thing that I really wanted to do with my stuff so as well like this is a tool that will help you to generate PDF from your uh, HTML that is also made in like Tailwind. So you will be able to apply all of your Tailwind styles into your PDF. And that's what I love about it, to be honest. Now, let's, let me share the tool. And uh, rather than PDF, you can uh, generate image as well. So let me share the tool and let me tell you what I really, really love about this tool. Okay, so let's get started. <music> So here is our today's tool that is Tailwind PDF and it's really really simple. They have four examples for you as well made in here. Okay. So let's just take the example of and resume suppose. So this will be the whole code and they also give you the link of Tailwind playground to play around with this code like uh, not play around with this particular code but the code okay why my mouse click too many whatever so this is the code yeah you get the whole uh thing of it okay you uh, they give it to you okay uh, here is a poster as well and you can go to preview mode and do you know what i that what is the wow moment of it here what it says click on the text to edit actually you can click on the text to edit like boom wow seriously man seriously i am loving it seriously i am loving it like you can't even imagine this is as well possible like how this is sorcery this is simply sorcery and obviously you can like edit it in code mode that's also possible and you can edit in in total like tailwind playground uh they suggest you to uh, edit all of the things in tailwind playground then copy paste the code over here because that makes sense that makes total sense to do that okay uh so rather than preview mode and coding mode what is another great thing about it you may ask that okay so in the downloading options here is the most great thing you have pdf you have png you have jpg you have webp okay standard formats i can get that you can set the size of the picture or the pdf in millimeters that is also a printable format though they have mentioned that over here but yeah we should keep that in mind that they are giving it over here because it's the printable size okay we are talking about printing over here not just like uh pre previewing it for a digital asset okay and they let you choose dpi that's the most important thing while you are printing documents like how many times i don't know how many times i have tried this okay so i always use figma for my design works but whenever i get to printing something i obviously need uh, to have 300 dpi okay so this happened recently with me as well while i am printing all of my bones uh, uh, stickers and all i have to create a 300 dpi file on the same page like same a4 page but figma is capable to produce 70 dpi uh, at the most because obviously it's made for a digital platform i don't know why they don't have this 300 dpi this to feature yaar add kar do yaar because that like uh, when you use figma na, you don't want to get out of it so that's the problem happens when you actually want to print something but you only have like the figma file 
now it's easier for svgs you can just copy paste copy paste it in in any of the design software and like create 300 dpi files but it's hard when you are dealing with uh, uh email, like what image file no yeah image file image file inside figma then there is no way to like export that or copy that as svg and uh, bring it in your uh, vector graphics tool that's one problem that i face multiple times while using figma and converting the uh, content into printable content whatever what whatever we are not using figma over here we are using tailwind and they are giving this dpi option this is seriously mind blowing seriously okay and that's pretty much about it that's pretty much about this website like i literally love this website how they are doing it but one thing that i would love if they provide that uh, maybe like the maybe open source the project or do whatever or provide apis or do whatever but uh, in saas or in all of our saas we need this portion like uh, uh whenever like we are creating a invoice we have to give it as a printable pdf as well so in that cases it should like it would have been come handy okay though i think a uh, lot of libraries are already available for, to convert react code to pdf but yeah it would have been like a game changer if they have done something like that or they support they start supporting react okay that would be great so yeah that's pretty much about it that's pretty much of all of my views about this okay so that's it about this video that's it about the site because this does this only thing and it does it greatly okay so that's about it uh let me know if you're going to use it or not i obviously going to use it because i love it to be honest i like i can't even think of like not using it anywhere like uh, from now on i will create a lot of stuffs in html plain html and like make a print out of it or make uh, something out of it okay like i would definitely do that okay so yeah that's about it uh, uh if you like my videos in general please do subscribe to this channel and if you know about some of the great tools like this please let me know about all of them in the comment section below and obviously like like this video share this video do whatever like help me to boost the youtube algorithm because obviously my views are low as well as the engagement of audience is low please do something boost up the algorithm and let my channel grow as well so that's it bye for now mm -hmm.